Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, I got a simple little project I want to tackle today. Um, we are definitely into fall here in Waco and the leaves on the pecan trees are dropping like crazy. In fact, I'm having to get out there and do something just about every weekend with them. Uh, now that means either get out there and spend a whole bunch of time raking leaves and I'm I'm about more power. If I can do it some way easier, I'm gonna do that. And I discovered a while back that my lawnmower actually can act as a vacuum cleaner uh, when I need it. Uh, I've got that nice bagging feature you saw that I installed uh, about a year ago on it. And if I run the lawnmower over the lawn with the blades all the way up, it basically just vacuums all the leaves up and puts them in that bag. And that's a heck of a lot easier than raking. So I did that today. And when I was out and about, I noticed uh, that one of the sprinkler heads in the yard is damaged and I figured, okay, well, that means I'm going to go out and replace that. And so I just came back from Home Depot. I got the replacement part and that's what we're going to do today. Let me show you what the problem is. This here is the head in question. As you can see, the piece on the top is just completely missing. Uh, sometimes since these things are spring loaded, what happens with these things is when water goes in there, the head kind of tends to pop up. Uh, so that it kind of sticks up out of the grass if there's any grass there and then when the water pressure drops it pops back down in there well sometimes the spring action of it popping back into the uh, overall housing itself can break the head off and uh, obviously that happened at some point I'm not sure when I don't know how long it's been that it's bad but uh, this can cause a problem on everything on this line because the, uh, the sprinkler system is designed in such a way that a certain amount of water going into the system minus the amount of water coming out of the system affects how much coverage you get from the heads. And the amount of water coming out is dependent on, on the amount that's squirting through the heads, which greatly restricts the amount of water that goes out of there. The problem is, if you're missing the head like this, then basically when the sprinkler comes on, you just have a geyser coming out of this head, and that reduces the water pressure everywhere else. And so that's a problem. We definitely got to fix it. Uh, plus the fact that it can cause irrigation, can uh, cause like uh, erosion issues when all that water is coming out of here and spraying wherever it's spraying. So, like I said, that's a, that's a problem that definitely needs to be fixed. Now, let me show you what the head should look like. This is a similar head elsewhere in the yard uh, that kind of does the same kind of thing. And you can see the, the little plastic piece in the middle there is in place. And now this one's a little bit different because it has to shoot over this rock that's right here. So, while the one that I showed you a minute ago only pops up about four inches. This one pops up about 12 inches, so the head will come all the way up to here so that it sprays everything over this rock. But as you can see, you know, this head is in place and the other one isn't. So I went over to Home Depot, like I said, and bought a replacement head. Now I thought I was gonna have to maybe replace this whole housing. I was hoping I could get just the head itself. Uh, and I really had to look for a while and ultimately I had picked out the housing to replace it. And then I end up finding a, you know, because of the housing itself uh, came with everything, including the little head here. But the problem is, this is a half, ma half moon pattern. So it only shoots water this way. It doesn't shoot water this way, because this water, you know, this direction is a lawn and that's covered by other heads. And so I needed a head that, that's what they call a half moon pattern. And so it shoots water this way back and nowhere else. Now, all the, 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 the entire replacement head, if I bought the whole piece, it only included uh, full circle heads. And so that was gonna be a problem. But I actually looked a little bit and I actually found just uh, the head piece in the middle. Uh, now, this one here is made out of plastic and the one I found is actually brass. And so hopefully by replacing that, it should solve the problem and hopefully won't break off again in the future. But uh, that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that other one apart and we're gonna replace that housing, put that head on top of the housing and then re re uh, reinstall it. So I'll take that off and we're gonna go in the house and we'll do it inside so you can kind of see. It's getting a little dark out here. Now the beauty of these things is the, the top of it just unscrews. And so you can just unscrew the whole thing, pull the whole mechanism out, and that's what I'm gonna bring in the house, and that's what we're gonna fix. 
All right, so this is the housing piece I took off. Took off. You can see it's a little spring-loaded piece, and basically what happens is it kind of sits at this level, and when the water goes on, the whole thing pops up, and the head sticks out of the ground, out of the ground, and then it sprays the water. But without the head here, uh, there's nothing to keep it from uh, going all the way in, and then that causes problems. Uh, I've actually seen this happen before. I think that's maybe kind of a design flaw with this. There's this little yellow ring around the top that actually screws on, but it seems like the head itself just kind of pushes in there. And I think what happens is eventually, since it's just held in there by friction, that when the, uh, when the head retracts, the force of the spring pulling the head back down tends to pop the head off. So uh, what I've got is this new brass piece here that's gonna replace it. And this is going to be the, the half moon pattern. And basically what happens, I just remove this little yellow ring on the top. Uh, it also comes with this handy dandy little filter thing. So I'm going to put that in there. That basically just keeps any solid particulate matter that might be in the system from, uh, you know, getting into the head and clogging up the head. And then all you got to do is just screw the new head back on. And uh, now since the whole thing is brass, uh, when it goes all the way up to the top, it won't ever break off. So now all we gotta do is just reinstall that. Now this is what the head will look like from top, and it's kind of important that I discuss this a little bit. As you can see, it says there's a little half mark there and arrows. And that arrow tells which direction the head will spray. So obviously if you want the head to spray that way, you need to have the arrows pointed that way. If you have them pointed this way, it's going to go in the wrong direction. So it's really important that you keep track of that so you, you make sure the head is spraying in the correct direction. Now you might sometimes have to adjust uh, the amount of flow coming out of the head, and that's what that little screw is in the middle there. Uh, if it isn't enough, then you can uh, twist on that little screw there in the center, and that will allow more or less water to come out depending on what your needs are. And since it's a little dark out there and I don't have my glasses with me, I just drew a little arrow on there with a sharpie so I know which direction to make the head point. So now that I got the everything back in here, I'm basically gonna just place the uh, place the head in there with the arrow pointing in the direction I want it to go and twist it home. And there you go, we are done. You know, if I had called a plumber to deal with that, it would have probably cost me a hundred bucks just to get him to come over here, plus uh, plus the part. But I did it myself. Uh, all I had to do was pay for the head, which was less than five bucks. Uh, it took 10 minutes of my time, and uh, we're done. So anyway, I think that is all that I have for today. Thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.